Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So I figured I would turn the camera on because I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like the very next day after using the Airwrap. I think it still looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of a curl at the bottom. Of course, it all fell and I slept on it. So that's that. And then I put on a little bit of dry shampoo at the top only because my hair literally is a freaking grease ball. Like, I wish I could go more than three days without washing it, but three days for me is like top, it's max, because unless I wanna look like I rubbed a stick of butter on my head, I'm good. I should try using it on dry hair, just if you're curious, like if you're thinking about buying it and you're mostly gonna use it with dry hair, and you just kind of want to know about the scratch in my couch. And you just kind of want to know how it works on dry hair. Maybe I should show you guys a clip right now and just see see what it looks like. I I mean I sometimes I use it on dry hair just to curl like the very like front pieces or whatever if I need to go somewhere and I'm not going to wet my hair. But like I said I don't think it works as good as it does when you actually wash your hair. So, we'll see. Oh, hi, Amy, I'm one. I gave Bella a little haircut and she looks just like a puppy again. Yeah, I look just like a puppy. I gave her a haircut and I gave her a bath. She smells good, I love her new shampoo. I feel like she also feels fresher too because it's been so hot and she has so much hair. I'm gonna use the exact curling barrel I used last time. So, like I said, easiest way to know is using the mirror. Okay, let's go ahead and do this front piece again on dry hair. Cool shot for a few seconds. Like, look at that freaking. So when it's dry, I feel like it gives you, it does give you a lot of volume, you know. But I don't feel like the curls last as long because it's not like drying your hair as it's styling. It's your hair's already dry. But is it still pretty? Yes. However, just know that the curls will probably fall faster. Look at all that volume. Okay. This will probably take like five minutes on each side. Yeah, about five minutes on each side because my hair is already dry, so it's just curling. That's it. I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna run my fingers through. But yep, look at these look at these curls. It looks really good right now, like I said, and it feels good. It still feels really, really bouncy and soft and curly. I just I know they're not gonna last. At least for me, they're not gonna last as long as doing it on wet hair. I feel like I mostly do this, obviously, on like the second day where I don't wash my hair. The second day where I don't wash my hair and I'm just doing like a quick like touch up because my hair already looks kind of okay from previously doing curls on it. curls right maybe if I put some product in it maybe it'll stay I 
Okay, that was probably a total of seven minutes, I don't know. But maybe if I put some product in it to help the curls stay is would help. It never fails. Never fails. So if you try it on dry hair, let me know what products work for you because for whatever reason on dry hair, I don't feel like it lasts a long time. But hey, at least I'm ready to go somewhere if I needed to go somewhere, so. I ended up going to Starbucks this morning. It had been a minute since I went to Starbucks. I'm trying to drink more coffee at home so i'm using my nespresso a lot but i need to order pods because i only have maybe three pods left and my favorite one is the bianco leggero it's a double shot super good super smooth and creamy but i think i have like two or three left so that's that so because i didn't have any pods i ended up making cold brew and actually i got new beans that are like espresso grounded beans and you guys might have heard of them so let me actually get them right now let me show you so i might be late to this okay but i've never actually used it and i've seen it everywhere so this one's called cafe Bust cafe bustelo and it's basically ground espresso. It comes pretty tightly packed, but I was able to make a pitcher of cold brew. And I have tried it once already, meaning like this is my second pitcher of cold brew that I make. I actually need to take it out of the fridge. So I've showed you guys my pitcher before, but I made a pitcher a couple days ago. And you know what? It was surprisingly very, very good. I do like taste the um, the grounded espresso in there and it didn't give me the shakes or anything, which was really nice because if you drink cold brew, you know that it's way stronger than just a regular iced coffee. And sometimes it can give you the shakes. And this one actually didn't give me the shakes, so. I need to take the beans out because they've been sitting for the whole night. So see, these are all the, basically the coffee grounds. And this tiny little pack probably makes, I would say at least five pitchers because yeah, you kind of fill it, fill it like 70% in there so it makes about five pitchers and then each pitcher gives you maybe two to three cups of cold brew depending on how big your cups are but i think it's worth it it's totally worth it i got it on amazon yay guess who has cold brew for the morning i know it sounds crazy but when I know I have like cold brew or coffee or whatever, like I cannot wait to wake up in the morning just to drink my coffee. It sounds nuts, but. Okay, so it's about 3.30 right now. I'm actually gonna get started with dinner just because I'm gonna make some pulled pork in the crock pot express. A slow cook and it also has a pressure cook feature. So I like um, having the pressure cook feature because when you're pretty short on time you can throw it in there and it'll be done in an hour instead of three hours or six hours for a slow cook so that's really nice i'm gonna make the pulled pork i already have it here and this is what the crock pot express looks like so i'm probably going to sear it first just to give it more flavor and then i am gonna put it on a pressure cook for maybe an hour and a half okay i'm gonna start by searing it i feel like when you sear it you just give it that nice crust and that nice flavor before i pressure cook it so 
Luckily, this has the feature to sear it, and after that, I'm gonna cover it and put it on pressure cook for probably an hour and a half. But yeah, it has the pressure cooker side and the traditional side if you also wanna use it as a slow cook and maybe make something before you go to work or something like that. This is really nice also when you're low on time because you can cook meat for an hour and super quickly it's ready to go. It's been kind of out of ideas on what to make for dinners and I remembered I had the pressure cooker and it's been a minute since I've used it. I, I can see myself using it a lot once like the fall comes because like chilies and stews and pozole and all kinds of stuff I could probably make on there. So I'm excited for that but it's been a little hot and you know it makes it like super difficult to want to cook even though I love cooking but yeah it's been something to try to think about recipes. Let me know if you can relate especially if you're the one who cooks at home. This is why I say don't skip out on a searing. Look at that crust. Hi guys, what is up? It is 4.44 right now. Wow, what a weird time. But it is 4.44. I started this video super late, but that doesn't mean I've been laying down all day today. I've been all over the place today it's been insane it's just one of those days where i was just trying to get everything done at home that i needed to you don't like the camera i thought you don't like it you just want to be next to mama is that what it is yeah all right well so this morning i finally got a car wash it really needed it so bad and i try to get it done super early because it's been close to the hundreds and it's just been super hot like i'm sweating throughout the day so i made sure to get my car wash and i vacuumed it like oh my god it just feels like a brand new car now it's a great feeling so recently i've been watching a lot of dyson era videos just to get like some tips and tricks from other people i love watching other people use it because i like to get just the feel of how other people use it how long it lasts how their curls look i don't know i'm just a weirdo and honestly the internet convinced me to buy the dyson air app so if you're thinking about it and you watch videos you're gonna want it but I don't know, it's just interesting to me like how people use it and how their hair looks and th their hair look just looks beautiful. But one of the tricks that a lot of people were using, or I should say tips, is it a tip or is it a trick? Maybe it's both, I don't know. But one of the things that people were using that I haven't used is product on your hair, like a hair mousse. I wasn't using any product at all and my curls did last they do fall but i feel like that was to be expected like i didn't think anything of it i was like you know other curls fall for me as well so it wasn't like a really big thing i did see that people were using hair mousse or sea salt spray and call me nuts okay because i had never heard of sea salt spray and i don't know if like i don't i mean this has probably been around for a very long time so i don't know where i've been but like I've never heard of sea salt spray and so now I want to get sea salt spray because it gives you like texture and volume but I'm still looking for one so if you know of a good one let me know in the comments anyways back to the hair mousse so I saw that a lot of people were using hair mousse to make their curls last using the Dyson Air app and I was like huh I have never tried that and I feel like that would work alongside with like pinning your curls to let them set like i think it would probably just look beautiful so i did my research and i found a mousse that looked interesting so i bought it and they got me and let me tell you why they got me with the whole packaging packaging is is huge for me okay if you got pretty packaging i'm gonna do my research and read reviews and see what the product's about but you get my attention with the packaging so look at how pretty this like this is it's such a barbie pink it's freaking adorable i know it's like it's a hair mousse and it really doesn't matter but they got me with the packaging 
Um, their brand is called Cake. Okay, so you guys already got me there because I'm already thinking like sweet. And I absolutely love sweet smells. So like marshmallows, candy, cake, anything like that. Ugh, I just love it. But anyways, the brand is called Cake Naturally Lux Beauty and they named this the Curl Whip. So it's whipped curl mousse for big curl boosting and it's supposed to not be sticky and not crunchy. So that's what they're putting on the, the bottle, which is cool because I don't want my hair to be sticky. When you're using the air app, I can't imagine my hair being like crunchy while it's in a curl. I don't want to look like I'm going to quinceanera. Okay, I just want my curls to last. That's it. Um, and then if it matters to you, it is also cruelty free and vegan. So that's a plus. I got this at Walgreens and I, w I didn't even know Walgreens had it. When I originally was looking for it, I saw that Ulta had it available and it's about $9 or so. I don't know if Ulta is going to have it for more expensive, but I would say it was prob it's probably about the same price. So I went to Walgreens and they had a whole section, like they have a whole line of this cake brand. They had like a leave-in conditioner, they had some other type of mousse that was more for texture and volume which I was really intrigued by, so I, if I like this, I'm gonna go back and get that. But they had different ones, and if I like this, I'm definitely gonna try all those out because I just, I love the packaging. And if it smells like cake, I'm gonna be all about it. So hopefully I can try that on camera next time for you guys because I already washed my hair, it's already dry, and I, I'm not gonna do it right now, so. It is what it is, but I'm excited nevertheless to try it. And if you have the Dyson Air app and you have anything that you're using that's working for you, let me know in the comments because I would love to try it out. My Nespresso order came in. I was honestly getting a little bit stressed out because I only had, I think, one or two pods left. And when I was checking my tracking, it was telling me it wasn't going to be here until probably five days from now which sucked because I really didn't want to buy coffee out when I want to save some money and make it at home but it wasn't even like that it took two days which was normal typically they're really good about shipping it takes about two to three days tops at least for the area that I live in but I got two of these Bianco Leggero pods these are my favorite I always talk about these two of those and then this one might be new. I got two of these as well. And if it's not new, I probably just hadn't seen it before, but I saw it online and I'm like, I'm gonna try this. So it's the Double Espresso Dolce. Interesting enough, it seemed like it was gonna be a smooth pod too. So I got two of those. I'm just glad it did not take as long as it was because honestly, I don't know what I was gonna do. I'm trying to figure out how to post TikTok videos. I, it's so different than posting on YouTube because you just have like a way shorter time and just the editing is different. Everything is different, the whole layout. So I just started posting a few days ago. If you haven't followed me, go ahead and follow me. It's pretty much my name and then YT. I have some Dyson videos. I have a morning coffee, I have Bella. Basically, same thing I talk about on YouTube, but it's just a much shorter version. So I'm trying to be more active on there. I'm just chilling with Bella for a little bit while I have to make dinner. I'm gonna make chicken Alfredo, and I'm just gonna make the Alfredo sauce at home, homemade instead this time. It's just, it's so much better. It just tastes so good and it's really not that very many ingredients so I'm probably just gonna make it from scratch because I already bought everything this morning so I'm probably gonna do that and then make some chicken and just make chicken alfredo for dinner maybe like a side salad and calling it a day and I did pick up wine I picked up some wine so we have that my favorite yellowtail is still a thing, okay? The yellowtail Pinot Grigio, the zero sugar one. It's the best. It's like my favorite summer wine. And it's like, it's dry, but it has like a tad bit of sweetness. It is 
really, really good, and it's only five fifty, and it's better for you. Yeah, count me in. So I bought some of those, and then I also bought a different Pinot Noir this time. That's a red, and it's also lower in calories and stuff like that. I don't remember if I've had that one. I think I have, but it's been a minute, so I have that. But my birthday is coming up, and I cannot believe it, you guys. My birthday is coming up. I'm going to be... Guess how old I'm going to be, actually. Drop it in the comments, because I would like to know how old you guys think I am. But my birthday's coming up. I can't believe literally it's been a year since already. What did I do last year? I think we went to SeaWorld because believe it or not, I had never been to SeaWorld and that was quite the experience. It was fun. I loved it. But yeah, my birthday is coming up. It's been rough at times, I would say. I would say the biggest thing about that for me is everybody just keeps asking me when I'm having kids and when am I going to be a mom when are you having kids and just starts giving you that pressure and it's not fun because you really start like putting yourself down and doubting yourself a lot and it's really it's a pretty sensitive topic in my opinion I think it's a very sensitive topic, especially when maybe you're waiting for a specific reason or what if I was struggling to have a baby? Like, I wouldn't want to explain myself to the world. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's very sensitive. And also, there's a lot of people out there who don't want kids. And I think this generation is really starting to, like, reconsider that and really like evaluate what they want and if it's something that they want so not everybody wants kids and I think that is totally okay I just I don't know why people push it upon other people like when are you having kids like it's time it's this and that and it's just crazy to me like I think it's perfectly normal if you don't want to have kids and if you do you do and whatever time you do then that's the time that you do like I don't know why people feel the need to get themselves involved in your business I'm not saying that I don't want to have kids for me personally I absolutely do it is like my dream I'm waiting and I think I've waited this long for that special time and I think the time will come eventually but people need to just chill the heck out and stop asking so many questions for now I have my little Bella and she's keeping me company and Kevin is keeping us company and we're all we're all good right baby girl it's all good in the hood huh Bella would love having a sibling though one day baby girl one day and Kevin noticed that she was getting a little bit of like plaque in like in her back teeth and she does not like to brush her teeth, okay? Look at the minute I say, like, brush her teeth, she's like, yeah, she is not about that life. So, because we had tried to buy, this was the toothpaste that we were getting for her, and we were just, it came with, like, a toothbrush, too. We tried. We really tried, but she absolutely hated it. So, Kevin saw that they have this, like, no brushing, clean teeth gel. And what it basically is, is it comes in, like, a little tube like this. And you're supposed to just put it in their mouths and this, like, dissolves and it helps remove the plaque. And that's, we've been trying this whole week with her. So, hopefully, that really helps her teeth out because she does not like brushing her teeth. I really tried just gonna put the little drops in here we go hey gotta put it in the back there we go perfect all right other side okay I 
know, I know, I know you don't like it. It's all done. It's all done. Now we're going to let it do its thing because it's supposed to dissolve. And it's supposed to get your plaque out. That's not so bad. It's minty. I can smell it. Okay, so I'm gonna be making my own Alfredo sauce from scratch. It's really not that many ingredients, so we'll see. I hope I'm not missing anything. But we're gonna need heavy cream. I'm gonna use this um, Parmesan cheese that I got from Aldi. This says it's imported by, or imported from Italy. It's already shredded. So we'll try that out. And then we have this Italian style bag of cheese. I was just gonna get mozzarella cheese, but this one has mozzarella, provolone, romano, parmesan, and asiago cheeses. So that sounded interesting. I got garlic that's already peeled because I'm not trying to peel a whole garlic thing. And then I got the Irish butter, which is my favorite butter to get from Aldi. This one's like the Kerrygold, but cheaper. I'm gonna use the shells because it's already open and I'm not gonna open a whole new bag of pasta even though I had just bought one for today anyway. Italian seasoning, probably just a little bit, and then just salt and pepper. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you Get next to you Not asking for much, but it's like the two of us Okay, we are ready to eat. Oh my god, there is nothing like homemade Alfredo sauce. How about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for.